A small family-run farm in the south of Sri Lanka, Kusuma and her husband Desanayaika want to harvest bananas today. Everything on their small plot of land is grown entirely organically, without artificial fertilizers or synthetic pesticides. Careful, careful! These bananas have turned out wonderfully. Colombo, the capital of the tropical island nation of Sri Lanka, which largely relies on tourism and tea exports. The growing conditions here are perfect, yet many residents struggle to afford enough fruit and vegetables for a balanced, healthy diet. This is true in many countries, where malnutrition and an unbalanced diet are usually a result of high prices rather than a lack of availability. Another global issue. Agriculture in Africa, Asia or Latin America is often highly dependent on imported fertilizers and pesticides. A small market in Colombo. The stalls are well stocked, but there are hardly any customers. At current prices, people can barely afford anything. The main reason for the price increase is the cost of fertilizers. Two months ago, the price for a kilo of carrots rose to 2,000 rupees. That's about six euros. I paid 10,000 rupees, 30 euros, for my shopping here. Who can still afford that? In the highlands of Sri Lanka, tea is primarily grown for export, along with some vegetables. The fertilizers and pesticides used not only degrade the soil, when it rains, the chemicals are washed down the slopes and end up in the groundwater. The population is often unaware of the risks associated with handling chemicals. When spraying, workers don't wear protective clothing, proper shoes or masks, leaving them unprotected as they inhale the toxic spray. Even conventional small farmers keep to a range of chemicals, some of which are highly toxic. DDT is still used here, despite being banned in Germany since the 1970s. Manufacturers in industrialized countries make good money from synthetic fertilizers and pesticides, and consumers there are protected by stricter regulations. The situation is different for people in the global south. Not only can they barely afford their own product anymore, but they also put their health at risk. A few years ago, I worked in an area where a lot of pesticides were used. Many of the farmers there suffered from kidney problems. I had an administrative job, but at some point I was diagnosed with chronic kidney disease. I suffer from severe back pain and have difficulty urinating. But there is another way. Healthier, more sustainable, more resilient and more productive. In agroforestry, Crops are grown not only horizontally, but also vertically. At the top, coconuts, jackfruit and mahogany grow. Beneath them, mangoes, avocados and lychees flourish. One layer down, cardamom, coffee, citrus fruits and bananas thrive. Pepper vines climb the tree trunks. On the ground, pineapples grow with ginger, turmeric and taro, acting as ground cover. Diversity instead of monoculture. Underground, large root tubers grow. Kusuma harvests her organically grown taro roots, which she washes with water from her own well. An agroforestry system functions independently and in a closed circular system without the need for purchased inputs like artificial fertilizers or synthetic pesticides. This makes the farmers less reliant on expensive imports. Microorganisms and fungi are integral to the high biodiversity of agroforestry systems, along with spiders and insects such as bees, which also provide honey. Chickens roam freely. Agroforestry represent a natural, largely closed circular system. Regular pruning of trees and shrubs is crucial. 
An agroforestry system is not a wild forest, but a carefully managed agricultural system that includes timber and fruit trees, shrubs, vegetables and annual crops. The pruned material is used for fertilizing and mulching. I learned the necessary knowledge from the project funded by Miserio and implemented by its local partner, Loam, Kasuma explains, because I now make my own compost for fertilizing. I'm independent of fertilizer prices, which saves me a lot of money. When properly processed, animal excrement provides the perfect fertilizer. Unlike artificial fertilizer, it doesn't require energy-intensive factory production, but is instead created and used within the farm's own ecosystem. My harvest has increased since I stopped using all those chemicals, says Kusuma, as she happily walks through her garden. It not only provides her with firewood for cooking, but she also grows organic rice in her field, surrounded by fruit and spice trees. Farming in harmony with nature, not against it. While her husband continues harvesting, Kusuma brews a fruit tea. The flowers come from her own garden. Organic farming in an agroforestry system is not just about smarter practices, with higher yields, more diversity and greater resilience. It's also about a more fulfilling way of life. Agroforestry brings joy. for a just world.